I went out to grab a takeaway poutine and I took myself away to Stockholm by mistake. Let me tell you there's no poutine here, but I saw a pirate ship, so there's that. The Swedish poutine in Stockholm. I need to get this done. I'm going straight to the market. I'm walking around and I see potatoes. Potatoes! But it's worthless if I can cut and fry these myself. I find fresh cheese, but I'm sounding like a crazy person when I describe curd cheese. For the meat, I'm asking myself if I'll have to settle on a deer on the wall. I find a treasure trove of gravy! <laughs> I'm still doing my shit face as I'm confusing a Swedish dude. Oh my god, cooked potatoes. These aren't fries, but I'm hungry. While waiting, I'm seeing that they have Swedish meatballs, shortbuller, that has to be the poutine's meat. I'm too dumb to guess that it was gonna come with heaps of beige sauce. And the fresh cheese was too expensive for my broke ass, so I bought a little local cheese with a weird color. The Swedish bastard poutine. Potatoes cut in any way whatsoever. Swedish meatballs. Meatballs sauce. Gyrost. Cheese like vaguely sweet, buttery, local. This is also Norwegian. Taste. 8 out of 10. It was great. But the cheese was super weird. Is it a poutine? Fuck no, it's not. 0 on 10. It's just not a poutine. And as a bonus, the real Swedish poutine. Hasselback potato fried. Hasselback is supposed to be a Swedish specialty. Swedish meatballs in a brown sauce. Don't add sour cream to the sauce. We want brown. Café Oost cheese. It's like Swedish dried cheese that you serve with tea, and I believe it becomes soft and squeaky again when it's warm. 